Welcome back to another training session. This was uh, my workout from Saturday and it went really well. So I mentioned in the last video and, and the title of it was that I strained my back a little bit and thankfully today it was all together. It didn't hurt any worse. In fact, it felt a lot better today, which I was not really expecting. I was expecting it to get really, really sore. Um, when I've done a similar thing in the past, it wasn't so much that I got hurt where like I couldn't do anything, but my back would just be really really sore in that portion where it kind of spasmed out but thankfully it wasn't too bad um, i did spend some time stretching and stuff throughout the day so i think that probably helped as well sorry bo's barking in the background but i'm just gonna push through um, with this maybe just be barking at the rain because it was storming earlier but anywho um, i had some block power snatches and those went well got up to 95 kilos with those really like the movement on the saturday workouts because they're not really mentally difficult as far as like doing a full snatch when you're kind of sore and tired um, it's more of just you're just trying to move fast and explosive, which is kind of nice It's like a nice uh, it's almost like a muscle snatch in the sense that you're not really stressed about it You're just trying to move it effectively, which is nice to have movements like that similar thing with uh, The clean jerks I was able to get up to 115 with them, but they were no hook no feet plus pause jerk so kind of in a similar sense to where you can work hard at the movement without having to have a heavy load on but I was still able to get up to 115, which is good. I was really happy with how the pause jerks look. I was trying to really emphasize a deeper dip on the jerk and to hold that position for a little longer than I had on previous jerks to really just build the strength in that position down there and just kind of try to get stronger at the jerk, essentially. I was happy with how all the, the weightlifting movements went. Um, after those, I had some back squats. I was nervous about these because I didn't want to re-aggravate my back. So potentially in the back of my mind, I might've been more hesitant on them than I otherwise would have been, but I still moved them, I think decently. Um, I was able to push up to 210 kilos. I took more aggressive jumps than the, cause I was using four RIR. Cause I didn't want to put five cause it took massive jumps if you put five RIR. Um, and four usually gave me a five kilo jump. And so I was taking some 10 kilo jumps because my back in my mind, I was like, maybe I could get up to 220. But once I did 210, it moved too slow. So then I decreased the RIR down so it would drop the weight. Um, and each time it dropped it by five kilos, which was actually really good drops uh, because they all felt difficult, but equally difficult doing after the 210 down to the 205, 200, and 195. And generally, like when I finished, I was really happy that I was able to push up to a heavy weight, not overexert myself, but then do the beneficial sets under that to where even though they don't feel like they're moving faster, they're probably moving a little bit faster than the top set just because the weight's lower. But um, really happy with how back squats went. My back didn't get aggravated or anything um, from them, which I was somewhat nervous about, which may have... Um, held me back slightly from pushing up above the, the 210 and may have made the 210 move a bit slower, but who knows? Could have just been the fatigue from driving back um, yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, I drove back um, last Friday after that session. Um, so I had a lot of time to sleep and relax and uh, stretch and stuff. And that was, uh, this was after I went to the uh, doctor to get my ears looked at, or my, I guess my one ear to look at. So. I started the, um, what's it called? I said it in the last one, and I will never remember the name. Methoprotosolone, however you say it. But um, my ears were feeling better. It was weird. They were feeling, I had my headphones in for part of the workout, and then I took them out because they were, like I could hear my ears when I was breathing in. So I think it's probably a good sign that the, the tubes things are opening up but I was generally feeling a little bit better even though I only had a couple of the doses. So hopefully that continues to be a trend and I do kind of feel similar um, as to yesterday to today as far as feeling a little bit better. So my sound and everything's coming back. So hopefully in a couple days it will be fully loosened up there. Um, but after the squats, I had some snatch pulls and they were all at 140. <laughs> the app hilariously likes to put it at like 139. I know because it's just a percentage, but I just bumped it up to 140 and I was trying to do a similar thing as I was doing or talked about in the last video to where I wasn't trying to be as herky jerky off the ground, but trying to move it smooth and trying to build the momentum of the pool as it's going. Um, I think I try to get... I tried to depend too much on my pulling strength and not trying to pull it correctly all the time. And I can get away with that with a lot of lifts just because my back's so strong, but it's gonna be more beneficial to being precise if I pull it 
with a little bit more patience and not in the sense that I'm trying to pull it slower, but trying to maintain the proper position as I start to pull it. So then as it starts to move faster, faster, I can still depend on that back strength to move it up, but just trying to move it in a, in a more precise way. So then when I catch it, it's in a more consistent position. And that's kind of always been the thing I've had in weightlifting, just because my back's always been so strong. Um, I've always, you know, you panic and just try to pull it too, too hard and too fast. And even if it feels heavy, I don't necessarily have to do that because I now thankfully can move fast enough to get under even heavier weights. I just have to be precise. And that's the biggest thing that I have to do. Not just be a gorilla and try to yank it off the ground, which is very tempting to do when I'm able to do it and get away with it a lot of the time. But anywho, this is my Saturday session. I don't know if I'm going to train today on Sunday very hard or do a full session. I'm going to go to the gym. Um, depends on how I feel when I'm warming up, but it could be a pretty decently heavy session, at least according to the app. So we'll see how that goes, but that's it for now. I'll talk to you on the next video and I hope you all have a great day. Peace.